Hello and welcome back everyone, this is student meteorologist TJ Gokul. Today I'm going to talk to you about the issued watches and warnings by the National Weather Service and the difference between them. The three that I'm going to talk to, about, to you about today are the most germane to our location. Those are winter storm watches and warnings, severe thunderstorm watches and warnings, and tornado watches and warnings. Sit back and relax. My first topic is winter storm watches and warnings. Winter storm watches are issued about 48 hours in advance of the storm, and they will tell you about the possibility of significant winter weather. The area that these watches can cover can be rather large depending on the storm. The hazards with a winter storm watch are for the potential for significant and hazardous weather, but this does not mean that it will occur, only that there is a potential. Therefore, when issued a watch, you should pay attention to your local news provider for the latest weather news. On the map provided, the large blue swath on the map, in indicated by arrows, is a winter storm watch, and this is a rather large area that the watch covers, which means there is a potential for a large storm that will affect a lot of people. Winter storm warnings are also issued whenever significant winter weather is imminent or occurring. This is issued about 12 hours in advance and has the same hazardous weather possibilities as a watch, but with more confidence of this winter weather to occur. The scale of the warning depends on the size of the system, but is generally smaller than the watch area. The area on the map is indicated by the color pink, and this shows a large area of winter storm warnings. There was a lot of confidence that this winter storm had hazardous winter weather involved with it and was either imminent or occurring. Significant or hazardous winter weather is defined as 5 inches of snow or sleet that has accumulated in 12 hours, enough ice that has accumulated to cause damage, or the weather is life-threatening. My next topic is severe thunderstorm watches and warnings. A severe thunderstorm watch is issued the day that the storms will occur, but they are issued well in advance of the storm development to alert the public. Severe thunderstorm watches generally cover a large area and population with the probability of thunderstorms and the potential for some to turn severe. For a storm to be considered severe, there must be winds greater than 57 miles per hour and hail with a diameter of 1 inch. When issued a watch, please be prepared for the possibility of strong storms. In this map, there was a large severe thunderstorm watch that was issued that even included our area. This indicates that the whole region and areas around had the possibility to see storms turning severe at that time. A severe thunderstorm warning is issued once a storm has met the severe thunderstorm criteria. These warnings indicate that a severe thunderstorm is either occurring or is imminent. When issued a warning, you should get into a sheltered area to keep safe from strong winds, hail, and the possibility of some frequent lightning. These warnings cover a much smaller area compared to a watch and will affect much less of the population. But always be aware of the weather when you are under a severe watch, because even though you may not be under a warning, the storms can still be very dangerous. Indicated on the map by the yellow polygon is a severe thunderstorm warning. This is a thunderstorm that has met the severe thunderstorm criteria. This area affected may be small, but the storm could still definitely pack a punch. My final topic are tornado watches and warnings. Tornado watches are issued the day of the storms, but well before they develop, so you have time to be alerted and to prepare. They usually cover a large area, but it also depends on the size of the system. The hazards that come along with a tornado watch are the chance for severe thunderstorms with a heightened risk of tornado development, and it still follows the severe thunderstorm criteria. On this photo, it shows a large red polygon, and that indicates a tornado watch. This is a large area and can affect a large population, and this basically tells you that there's a chance for severe thunderstorms with also a heightened risk of tornadoes to occur. Moving on to tornado warnings. A tornado warning is either occurring or is imminent, and that is when a tornado is spotted by a spotter or indicated on radar. And this usually covers a much smaller area than the tornado watch. The hazards that come along with this is that the tornado has been spotted by the radar or train spotter and that you should seek shelter immediately because it could get very dangerous. Indicated on this photo is a tornado warning and it's outlined by red and is also much smaller than the tornado watch. This is a tornado that I have personally seen when we were storm chasing two summers ago in Oklahoma near Tipton. And this is a very serious situation and it did cause some damage so when you are warned that there's a tornado near or spotted around you, you should definitely take action. Okay, now it's time for some common misconceptions. The first one is, I'll wait until I hear a tornado siren. What? 
Have you ever considered that they could be broken or malfunctioning at the time? Whenever you are issued a tornado warning, you should always take shelter immediately, just in case it is to come and affect you. The next one is, I have a basement, I'll be fine. Well, what if you're outside your house? What are you gonna do? Do you have a safety plan? You should always have this in your mind whenever you have a chance for severe weather of places to go where you could be safe if you're out of your house. The next one is, it's only a severe thunderstorm watch. And it could still be just as bad as any other thunderstorm or worse. You just always gotta be cautious with what is to come, even if it's a severe thunderstorm watch because those could just change really quick and turn severe real fast. The final one is it's just a few inches of snow. That's just crazy. I live up in the Northeast and a few inches of snow can wreak a lot of havoc, especially on highways. No matter where you live, honestly, it can still cause a lot of issues on the roads and you should just be cautious whenever you are out on the roads, no matter how much you get. Thank you for tuning in this week. Tune in next week to see what the gun has in store for you. Today I will leave you off with a picture of the tornado that I've taken when we are storm chasing two summers ago with the school.